Hi everyone, in this game we will see William Steinitz, the Austrian and later American chess player and the first official world chess champion. He was also a highly influential writer and a chess theoretician. Steinitz was unbeaten in match play for 32 years. He unveiled in 1873 a new positional style of play and demonstrated that it was superior to the previous style. His new style was controversial and some even branded it as cowardly. As we said before, the ideas of William Steinitz come to be known as the classical or modern school of thought. But many of Steinitz's games showed that it could also set up attacks as ferocious as those of the old school. Steinitz was also a prolific writer on chess and defended his new ideas vigorously. The debate was so bitter and sometimes abusive that it became known as the Ink War. By the early 1890s, Steinitz's approach was widely accepted and the next generation of top players acknowledged their debt to him, most notably his sector as world champion Emanuel Lasker. Against Kurt von Bardelben, who was a German chess master and a journalist. The game was played in England 1895. e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, bishop c5, Giacopiano, or Italian game. c3, knight f6, d4, e takes d4, c takes d4, b, b4 check, knight c3, Gerko's attack, d5, e takes d5, knight takes d5, castling, castling at a perfect time, white is also impending and attacking the knight on d5, so black can't castle, bishop e6, bishop g5, bishop e7, Bishop takes d5, Bishop takes d5, Knight takes d5, Queen takes d5, Bishop takes e7, Knight takes e7, Rook to e1, f6. Black accepts that castling won't be possible due to the speed with which White can pile up pressure against the pennant knight. Therefore, the king will step to f7 and out of the pin. Queen e2, queen d7, rook a c1, c6, d5, c takes d5. White sacrifices a pawn to open the c5 for his rook and to get a strong output on d4 square for his knights. Knight d4, king f7, knight e6, rook h c8 queen g4 g6 knight g5 check the only move that gets out of check and defends the queen king e8 now pause the video and try to find the winning move rook e7 check a great move Black can't capture with either the queen or the rook, but things aren't over yet. King f8, a clever defense. White is up a knight, but white can't capture the queen on d7, as literally every white piece is hanging, and back rank checkmate is threatened. Rook f7 check, the same idea. Black's queen and king still can't capture. King g8, rook g7 check, king h8, rook h7 check. At this point, black realized what was coming and simply resigned. Yes, resigned. White's brilliant idea is to sacrifice the rook to force a beautiful checkmate. 
King G8, Rook G7 check, King H8, Queen H4 check, King takes G7, Queen H7 check, King F8, Queen H8 check, King E7, Queen G7 check, King E8, Queen G8 check, King E7, Queen F7 check, King D8, Queen F8 check, Queen E8, Knight F7 check, King D7, Queen D6 checkmates, white wins. This was the Steinitz's immortal game that reflects the power of ideas that were brought up by the first world chess champion and the leader of the classic era of chess, William Steinitz. I hope it will impress you. Thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe and like if the video was helpful. Goodbye everyone.